I'm excited to teach you how to make our award-winning dough from scratch in your own kitchen. Here's everything you will need for this party. So let's start with the ingredients. One cup of flour, we love to use bread flour, you can use all purpose. One cup of water, half a stick of butter or four tablespoons, three quarter teaspoon salt, one tablespoon vanilla, and oil for frying. We like to use canola oil, but you can use any alternate oil. One egg, and then of course the churro maker, where the magic happens. A saucepan, and then you also might want another pan for frying, and then the KitchenAid mixer is what we're gonna be using today, but if you only have a handheld mixer, that'll work great as well. So, let's get started. First, you wanna get your oil heating up. So I have about two inches of oil in this saucepan. With our candy thermometer, we wanna get up to 375. If you don't have a candy thermometer, it'll be about a four out of 10 on your stove top. So let's just put that over there. Next, we're gonna add our half stick of butter and our cup of water into the same saucepan. And then we're gonna let this come to a rolling boil and make sure that the butter has completely melted. So while our butter and water are coming to a boil, this is a great time to mix the rest of our ingredients. So we'll start with our dry ingredients. We have our cup of flour and we're gonna add three quarter teaspoon of salt. One quarter, two, three. And then we're gonna do one egg. Okay, and one tablespoon of vanilla. All right, then we're gonna mix that up. Okay, so now our butter and water are boiling. So we're gonna grab that, and we are gonna pour our flour and salt mixture right into our saucepan. And then we're just gonna start stirring until we get to a Play-Doh-like consistency. And we wanna make sure there's no chunks of flour in our churros, so make sure you mix that really well and then we're gonna bring this into um, a ball mm, smells so good sweet churro dough okay so once you've got it mixed into a play-doh like consistency we're gonna let this sit for about two minutes just let it cool off a bit while we get our mixer ready and then we'll move on all right now that our dough's had a little time to cool down we're gonna add it right into the mixing bowl let's get our mixer on a low speed make sure that's locked so maybe like a two to start, and then we will add our egg and vanilla. And then we can start to speed it up a little bit, maybe about a four, five. Okay, so as the dough is mixing for just a few minutes, you'll start to notice that the dough is starting to gather a little bit. And we can help that by using a spatula to start pulling it down from the sides, helping it come together, so that by the end, we have this nice ball of Play-Doh-like dough. And we're gonna let that cool for just a few minutes before we head to the fryer. All right, our dough's had a few minutes to cool down, and we've got our churro maker ready. Make sure you have your hollow churro nozzle in place. And then we're gonna twist off the top, just one to the left, so that we can stuff this with churro dough. Now this churro dough is such a beautiful consistency. You can either use your spatula or your spoon to scoop it in, or just use your hands. I like to make it into like a little, almost like a cylinder, and then just pop it in. And then you can go ahead and twist your top back on, one to the right, and we're ready to start frying. All right, so once we've checked that our temperature is about 375, we're gonna get our churro maker and we wanna hold it straight up and down over the oil. And you're gonna wanna give it a few twists. We like to keep our churros about two to three inches. We love mini churros. And you can use a knife or your finger. I'm gonna be using a knife today to cut these churros in. I like to do it close to the oil and just gently lay it down so I'm not getting too messy or getting oil everywhere. Get a few in there at a time. And watch the temperature of your oil so that you don't go down too low. You don't want soggy churros. And then we're gonna use our metal tongs to just make sure that all the sides of the churros get nice and crispy, especially if you're using less than two inches of oil. It'll take about two to three minutes for these churros to cook nicely. And the batch of dough that you made today will make about 
13 to 15 mini churros. And when you pull the churro out, because they're hollow, you wanna make sure to drain them before you put them on your towel. Get rid of all that excess oil. Ah, perfecto. And you just made churros. All right, you've got your churros lined up. Now comes the really fun part. Let's get some cinnamon sugar on these babies. Also, just smell it. it smells so good. I mean, be generous. You know, I love cinnamon sugar. We're gonna just cinnamon sugar all these babies and then we're gonna rotate them and do the other side. And you wanna do this while they're warm so that the cinnamon sugar sticks to them. Now we're gonna fill these churros. If your dulce de leche has gotten a little cool, feel free to heat it up in the microwave for 10, 15 seconds, and then just grab your churro and fill it up until it gets to the top. Do a little curly cue if you want, and enjoy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Crispy on the outside, cinnamon sugar. Mmm, so soft on the inside. Creamy dulce de leche. Am I right? Are you with me? Do a little dance. Churro. You did it, you guys. You made churros from start to finish in your home. You're amazing. Enjoy. Enjoy.